The next step would be to install the ALP file um, you got from the Isotonic homepage. So if you double click on this file, um, you want to install this and it's asking you're installing at least one pack designed for an earlier version of life. You can just press yes here. So it's uh, checking and converting this to the new version. And now you will find this in your um, ALP packs. And let's have a search here for Volker. And there it is. I created a Volca drum editor instruction set. You can start here and double click on this file to open this Ableton Live set. So this will make things a bit easier in the beginning, but you just have to set this up once and then you're ready to go. Once the live set is loaded, you can close your browser, for example, here and you will get a lot of tracks here and we will go through all those tracks and what you need to do at the beginning. So you have two tracks here in the beginning. The first one is just uh, one editor here, one editor preset, and the second one is one with all the presets which are coming with this pack. Third track is just for routing all the different MIDI um, signals to the right channel to your Volca drum. And the fourth track is just for playing sounds. So let's start with setting up the first one. So on your first channel, you want to make a MIDI connection, which is a global accessing MIDI connection for all parameters which are global on your Volca drum. So you want to set this MIDI to to the port you're using for the connection to your Volca drum. In my case, this is the Scarlet 8i6. You want to set this to channel one. Every channel from one to six would work here. You want to do the same for the Volcadon pre presets because they are like the same like the first track. So I go to the MIDI port I'm using here and make sure this is set to channel one. The third track is routing all the different um, MIDI channels here or all the different uh, parts of your Volca drum um, to the right MIDI channel. So this goes via this um, track here, which has uh, six tracks in here, which are um, sending the MIDI on channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four, channel five, channel six to the different uh, drum parts you got on your Volca drum. So to set this up right, you need to select the right MIDI port first and then channel one and doing this all for all parts. So channel two goes to channel two um, and so on and so forth. Once you've set up all those channels, you might want to save this Ableton Live set here as a template. So for example, you can um, save this as a routing template, routing Volca template somewhere on your desktop. You can as well save this um, as a preset in your user library. So for example, let's uh, take the first and the second channel, uh, the third channel here because the second one just has all the presets in here. And now we could group those two channels and maybe name it routing Volcar template. And then you can go to your user library and save this as a preset in here. So the next time you're opening up um, this template here, it will be routed to the right MIDI channels and to the right MIDI ports already.